All right, and as Eric was just talking about how warm it was mm -hmm. outside today, some local farmers are now saying because we haven't seen that hard freeze yet, insects may become more of a problem for crops this spring. Yeah, TV6's Joshua Blount joins us in the studio. And Joshua, these growers say there are a few insects that can be a concern. Well, the farmers say that the insects that can bring some challenges for crops this spring are Japanese beetles and corn and, corn and soybeans, corn borers, and bean leaf beetles and corn root worms. Joe Derricks is a farmer in DeWitt. He told me today that when the ground freezes, it destroys some of the pests' eggs that attack corn and soybeans. Despite this potential increase in insects, Derek says local farmers are focused on making sure all of their equipment is ready to use to plant crops in April. But he says they are also getting help from agronomy specialists. This time of year is meeting season so we're actually talking to our agronomists and suppliers and they're telling us probably what to expect this spring and so they're they'll tell us if if there's any shortages of any products or any chances that there'll be more bugs that we'll have to uh, take care of I also talked to a Scott County Master Gardener today. He says winter temperatures over the past several years have been trending warmer, and because of this, the tick populations around the area has increased. Well, it, the ticks can be a conduit for various diseases, and it depends on the kind of tick. We do have deer ticks around here, and they, they can carry and transmit Lyme disease. That's one. There's also the Texas Lone Star Tick, which is beginning to make an appearance around here, and that has its own set of, of diseases as well. So that's really the concern with ticks, is that they're a vector for diseases. Wolf says the best defense against ticks are applying the proper chemicals to help keep them away if you're planning to be outside. Also, checking yourself once you get back home to make sure nothing's on you. Morgan. All right, good information there. Thanks, Josh. Wolf says for some insects, the snow acts like a blanket on the crops, giving them a more comfortable place to stay.